It is currently 7 a.m. <sighs> Straight away in the morning, I have to wait because there was people trying to get into the hotel. So it was fun. I had to wait for basically security to clear the door so that I could leave. But now we are going to the coach station and I'm going to get a coach to London. So I'm now, <laughs> someone's stuck at the door. I'm now at the coach station waiting. And honestly, so, so excited to get to London, see the horror again. I cannot wait. I'm so tired. So I'm probably going to sleep on the coach, but we will see. I had to go for the good old Shake Shack. The current plan is eat this and then go meet Yana soon. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Bye. See us. But we're here. <laughs> we're literally side stage. It's so good. But I'm with Yana. We literally didn't vlog on the way here because it's so hectic. And you probably can't hear me. But <laughs> see you guys in a second. Side stage view. <laughs>
good now. I love you too. Oh, it's been almost two years since we're in London, you know. What the fuck? A lot has happened since then. We are. Uh, we played some festivals and in cause of the festivals. We uh, we finally got a song on Radio One. Woo! However, this song that we're about to play is when we first we sent this song to Radio One, and we were like, "What do you think?" And they were like, "It's got trumpets in. We don't like it." So this song is exactly about this. It's called Blue to the Air. Especially now, we can all relate to that being locked away. I think a lot of us struggle to let out who the fuck we are and just be free. Man, we're just in the moment. Bro. So, this is my vulnerability right here, just singing a song, no fancy shit. It's called Afterlife, and it goes like this.
All right, so I told Birmingham yesterday, but they're the only people that know. We're announcing to this tomorrow, but I need to tell you, it's really important because on the 22nd of October, we've got a brand new song called Down the City Dropping, okay? And it's a fucking... Honestly, this has been so fucking good, London. We've not been here in two years. And you put this place out. You gave your fucking energy. And then the next plan is to pack out that next room, okay? So I hope to fucking see you again. But thank you so much for today. We absolutely love you. Live music is fucking back, man. Now look, we've had a few mosh pits, we've had a bit of fun, but now let's just go fucking mental, like let's just let's do weird shit and let's go that next level, okay? How was that? That was, so it was good. amazing. So good. So good. We're in Angel right now, and we're gonna go Victoria, and then we're gonna get on the lovely coach. And hopefully get food. Hopefully get food. We just bumped into my friend as always when it comes to these gigs. But yeah, it was really nice. And we're literally only a stop away. So we didn't die. Stop. Yeah, we didn't die because we were in the side. Otherwise, we probably would have died. But we've got two stops, so yeah. we'll update you when we're on the coach. I usually just do voiceover when I am editing and doing the outro. But yeah, we have this view today. But I basically just wanted to end this on that day. I was really tired and we had the coach. So yeah, it was a rail replacement, which is never great. So I was really tired. But yeah, I also find it funny, my reaction to getting Jack's drumstick. Um, yeah, I just can't even explain. <laughs> but it was quite funny, the fact that I actually have that recorded. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and stay tuned for the next one.